Well, I am here at the Republican meeting. And I have been greatly maligned. And I'm here to try and set straight the record. Some people say that I formed the Democratic Republican Party, and that is a vicious lie. I formed the Republican Party. Never did I say the Democratic Republican Party. I dare anyone. I'll even give you a Thomas Jefferson $2 bill if you'll show me where I refer to the Democratic Republican Party. I created the Republican Party because all of us founding fathers created a republic, not a democracy. I uh, have had my good friend uh, George Washington express to you before his concern about this um, modern tendency to call everything a democracy because uh, John Adams uh, said that democracy was like a mobocracy. And that fits very much along with the uh, uh, understanding of the words from the Greek and the Roman. Of course, democracy is the Greek demos and krasi. Demos means the wide expanse of people, the rabble. And krasi is rule. So rabble rule is democracy. All right, now, republic comes from res publica. Res derives from rex. Rex means the king. If you're Christian, you could say Rex, mean, Rex means Christ the King. But anyway, Rex is the object of the King, and Publica is the organized group of people. So you have the object of the King, the law, the authority, for the organized people, not the rabble. So that's the difference between democracy and republic. So please never refer to our nation as being a democracy. And please never say that I formed the Democratic Republican Party, which has been transmogrified into the Democrat Party. Okay? So that, that should be clearly corrected. And, and I believe that you ought to look at creating a JR Republican Party for Jefferson and some new fellow named Reagan. <laughs> Jefferson Reagan Republican Party. That's that's really what you should have as your principles in today's world.